hunters are broken? Yes. Now you might think this is a class elitist video, but I promise it isn't. In this video, I will explain why hunters are objectively the strongest class in endgame PvE, specifically Grandmaster Nightfalls. There are three main reasons, but let's start with the reason you clicked on this video. Hunter Jump. Yes, I'm talking about a jump making the class broken. Now if you haven't seen my previous video on why Wishender is better than Arbalist, you should check that out before watching this or it won't make as much sense. That'll be in the description. But the beautiful thing about Wishender on Hunter is that you can double jump and continue to aim down sights for accurate shots. This little effect is extremely basic, but so much more powerful than you probably think that it is. With it, Hunters effectively take 200% less damage than any other class when they peek out with their Wish Ender. As you can see, jumping around like this makes us very hard to hit by the majority of slow moving projectiles. This includes all AoE damage in the game like Hive Boomers, Acolyte Fireballs, or even Ala Cool's Lightning Balls but also other slow moving rifle style shots like that from Cabal. With this jump shoot technique, your damage output will be much higher than any Titan or Warlock since they will be taking much more damage and having to return to cover more often than you. I mean guys, I'm literally just sitting out in the open taking no damage. Crazy stuff. Invisibility is the most broken mechanic in Destiny 2's PvE sandbox. I mean, let's talk about it. With it, you effectively have a 100% damage reduction, since if you can't be seen, you can't be hit. There are so many different activities in the game you can cheese due to invisibility. The first that comes to mind is the Extraction Lost Sector. Typically, we'd need to clear out all of these adds to charge the panels, but with invisibility, we essentially skip half of the Lost Sector. Another example is the moat dunking mechanic in the Moon Battleground Grandmaster Nightfall. Typically, you'd need to clear out an entire room of adds before safely dunking your moat, but with invisibility, all you need to do is kill the moat bearing wizards, dunk, and it's over. Guys, you know invisibility is good, I'm not gonna sit here and waste your time explaining all of its uses, they're pretty obvious. For our third argument, we have Marksman Dodge. You really can't overstate how powerful this dodge is. Instantly reloading a rocket is absolutely insane in Grandmaster Nightfalls. A combination I'm very fond of is Stun and Unstoppable Champion with your Glaive, Super, Rocket, Dodge, Rocket again. You can solo a champion in 3 seconds with this effect, and it is so satisfyingly effective. Conclusively, the combination of the Hunter Jump with Invisibility makes Hunter easily the best PvE class in my opinion due to the Wish Ender meta that we are currently in. You just leap around slaying everything with Wish Ender, and the second you take some damage, just go invis, regenerate your health, and boom, you are back in the action. Now I can already hear future comments talking about how strong Well is, and that is true. But after the Starfire nerf, I personally just don't see the Solar Warlock neutral game being as powerful as Hunter. You don't need your super up to abuse the jump bow technique or invisibility. Sure, Sun Bracers are also quite good, but they do require the condition of defeating an enemy with a melee, and personally, I prefer my builds to be good at base, with no conditions necessary to facilitate their power. I will concede that well is absolutely necessary in raids, there truly is no argument there. The basis of my argument is mainly for Grandmaster Nightfalls, as that is my primary experience in endgame PvE. The goal of this video isn't to start a class war, merely to share an interesting tech I discovered when attempting my solo GM. And that's about it guys, leave your thoughts in the comments, I am sure there's going to be a ton of chaos going on down there, which always happens with class argument. Keep in mind, this is just my opinion, I am not some magical fairy of always having the correct take. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys enjoy this type of content, be sure to subscribe as I post Destiny 2 content daily. I have this goal of hitting 10,000 subscribers by the end of the summer, and if everyone watching this subscribed, I would hit that next week, which would be wild. Either way, appreciate you watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Peace.